G'day, it's Paul Eastoff for Uppercut TV. With me tonight is uh, Shannon Shaggy King, and we're just going to be talking a little bit about what's been happening around in the Brisbane fight scene. Coming up is Ian Bronson's Rumble at the Ridge out at the Acacia Ridge Hotel. That's on June 17. I know he had Andy Smith lined up to fight on the show, but I believe in his last fight he got two broken arms. Won the fight, somehow walked out with two broken arms. Um, yeah, Andy Smith, I don't know how you win a fight with coming out with two broken <laughs> arms, but uh, good on him. Maybe it happened after the fight, Andy. Yeah, maybe he <laughs> fell over. <laughs> uh, they still have uh, Ben Johnson on the card, so I'd get down to that because he's an exciting fighter to watch, I think against a New Zealander. That's correct. So yes. an international bout there, which is really good for uh, Ian Bronson. Listen, I think Ian's looking for some athletes to go on to the show because a few people have pulled out. If you're looking to have a fight come mid-June, get a hold of Ian Bronson. The next promotion coming up, August 22nd, Battle by the Bay. Uh, Warren Westerberg out at Cleveland always puts on a good show, so uh, I believe he's looking for nominations as well. Shaggy, we had the, um, the fight show the other night, Corporate Punishment, of which you're a big part of. Yep. Uh, some great fights on the night, some great amateur fights, and of course the professionals at the end. One fight I thought was good, and one of the uh, female athletes I thought was great, is Shauna, and she was fighting Beck Ryan. Tell us what you thought of that fight. Yeah, so Shauna trains at Corbett Box at Lutwich, and when Shauna came to us, she started with the ties. So she's very relaxed, very skillful. Uh, you'll find the people that start with the ties, as much as the, as the Tron Smith has put a lot of time into her as well, which you can see by her punching, she checked a lot, which is quite unusual for beginning, beginner yes. fighters. She push kicks a lot uh, as a controlled push kick, not an attacking push kick. So in saying that, the other girl, Beck Ryan, her skill was great as well. So it was a really good, controlled, skillful fight from both girls, but with Shauna just having that edge of skill. In my personal opinion, I think Shauna could be the next best thing in the, the young females. Yeah, the way she fights for, like I'd love to have fought like that in my second or third fight you know like i don't think i could even get that skill to be 10th 12th 13th fight so they definitely are the next generation of fighters i think she had walk out of the night and also i believe was uh, fight fighter night and that was kaylee doyle and she was up against alice little yeah definitely walk out of the night thanks to lauren from uh box at Ipswich. Both two aggressive girls, they both went at it. I think uh, Kaylee definitely landed the more cleaner shots, which actually got her the win. But once again, a great fight on the night, which I think all the fights were. And of course, coming to the main event, we had uh, Apparat the Thai from your gym, and he was up against Mark Saraceno. Uh, Saras training over in Thailand at the moment, and up against the Thai training here in Brisbane. Apparat just having that little bit too much skill for Sarah on the night. Yeah, it's definitely hard to judge uh, with the Thai fighters. They can get in front of an athlete, that they're just winning the fight and they'll stay at that pace the whole fight because they could be fighting again next week, they could be fighting <laughs> again in two weeks. But in saying that, I don't think you can really put Saraceno away anyway. You know, so if Apparat went to the next level, uh, I still don't think you stop Saraceno. Ever really. Mate, there were some great things there. Aparak showing his skills with his uh, reverse spinning kicks and his high jumping knees and all sorts of things, but Sarah just stayed away from it all. Yeah, um, Aparak has stopped a few opponents with the jumping knees. Uh, Glenn Purvis in Sydney, a big body kick and then a jumping knee stopped him in the third round. Like I said, back to Saraceno's toughness. I don't think he gets stopped by too many people. So Aprak probably, in the fight, it looked like Aprak seen that, and so just made sure he was always in front on skill. A couple of people we'd like to thank for helping out Uppercut TV and putting this show together. Soldier Fight Gear. Shaggy, you've had a bit to do with this. What are your thoughts? Yeah, yeah it's uh, good quality gear. He makes a lot of good stuff for the kids' range as well, which uh, kids' tie pads, which I actually didn't think existed until <laughs> Soldier bought them out, so they're available at Fight and Fit at Lutwich Road, Lutwich. So if anyone wants uh, the full range of Soldier gear, they have it all in stock. Someone else we'd like to thank is Shaggy's Barbershop. Proudly owned by the fella here. All right, thanks folks.